We just learned in our current English speaking culture that we think and speak in 10 mod machine. The number 273 is literally 200, 7, 10, and 3. We speak, say, and think 10 mod machine. Which is amazing. So, why do we humans like the number 10 so much when it comes to matters of arithmetic and counting and so forth? Why do we think 10 is such a handy number? Okay, it must be from our human anatomy. We have 10 fingers, we learn to count to 10, and we think 10 is the way to go when it comes to counting and doing arithmetic. Everything from our culture is probably based on our anatomy. In fact, we even call these things at the end of our hands digits. And guess what we call each of these individual numbers right there? There's the digit two, there's the digit seven, there's the digit three. We use exactly the same word for our fingers and thumbs and for the individual numbers in a long number. And it's not a coincidence. It's because of our humanness that we think 10 is the way to go. I need to point out that not all cultures on Earth decided to use a base 10 number system. Some cultures decided to use base 20. 20, you think? That's a strange number. Why 20? You think about it for a while and then you realize, oh, oh, maybe these people were thinking not just their fingers, they're thinking fingers and toes. All 20 digits on our human bodies. Base 20. In fact, we have some vestiges of base 20 still in our Western cultures today. For example, a very famous American president by the name of Abraham Lincoln once gave a very famous address called the Gettysburg Address. And it began as follows. He said, four score and seven years ago, and then carried on with his talk. But look at this, four score and seven years ago, four score and seven. How many years is that? What number is he talking about? And you look at this for a while, and then after a while you might realize that score is actually an old word for 20. So Abraham Lincoln is literally saying four 20s and seven years ago. He's speaking about the number 87, 87 years ago. Whoa, there's the number 87 in base 20. Abraham Lincoln was speaking base 20. In fact, people who speak French also speak base 20 for the number 87. They pronounce the number 87 as, forgive me, I don't speak French, but they say quatre vingt, quatre vingt, set. All right, oops, there's a P, P in there, there we go. All right, I really don't speak French, forgive me. Oh, but if you take how they, what they say here, these three words, and translate them literally into English, they say four twenties, four twenties, and seven. Katrava set is literally 87, presented in a base 20 sort of way. And it's just like what the Mayan cultures did millennia ago. They wrote their numbers like this, with dots for big, representing one, bars representing five dots, and they wrote their numbers vertically. But they did it in a base 20 way. Here's four dots that represents four 20s, and an extra seven dots. There's the number 87 in the Mayan system. Base 20. Whoa. Other cultures on Earth decided to actually go base 12. Now, 12 is very unusual. Mathematical historians aren't quite sure the exact reasons why some cultures chose that, but there's actually lots of good compelling reasons for it. For example, one is, there's a very natural way for us humans to count to 12 on one hand. We have four very long fingers, each naturally divided into three sections, and this very handy pointer. And you count to 12 like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, I just did one group of 12. I can do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's a second group of 12. I can keep doing a third, fourth, fifth, and so on. I can count to 12 groups of 12 on two hands. That is, I can count to 144. Whoa. Actually, this is still a very popular way to count in many parts of the world. Parts of India and Southeast Asia, it's very popular to count this way. You might count this way yourself. You might have friends that count that way. Grand and good. But actually, there's another reason why 12 is very good. It's handy for everyday life in matters like measuring things and buying things and sharing things. For example, how many items are in a dozen? Well, there are 12 items in a dozen. How many inches in a foot? Well, there are 12 inches in a foot. How many hours are in a day? Okay, this is a bit of a trick question because I literally mean day. I want to go back in time. Think about the very first clocks we humans built. They were just sundials, basically a stick in the ground. And we watched the shadow of the stick move around throughout the day. Sundials only work with the sunlight during the day. They don't work at night. People could not measure time at night, and they didn't. So they only measured time during the day. And how many hours in a day did they decide on? They decided on 12. Now, it's only when they invented water clocks and mechanical clocks that people could start actually measuring time at night as well. 
And they said, well, if we're doing 12 hours in the day, we might as well do 12 hours in the night as well. That's why we think there are 24 hours in a day. But if I literally mean day, the answer is 12, 12 hours in a day. So there's a lot of 12 ness in everyday life. And here's why. Because in everyday life, you might want to just not have a whole thing. You might want to only buy half of something, or a third of something, or a quarter of something. These are the very common fractions in everyday life. So here's a dozen eggs. It's 12. And half is a really nice number. Half of 12 is a nice whole number of eggs. It's 6. I can do a half very easily if I'm thinking 12. I'm going to do the fraction third very easily. There would be 4 whole eggs. I'm going to do the fraction quarter very easy, or easily. A quarter of a dozen is 3 whole eggs. Very nice. The number 12 is very good for those basic common fractions in everyday life. If we did a base 10 system here, that should be awkward. Sure, half of 10 is nice, there's a nice whole number 5, but a quarter of 10 is getting a bit weird, 2 and a half, and a third of a 10 is really hard. So 10-ness isn't very good for the basic fractions of everyday life, but 12-ness is. So this is why you often see 12 in things we buy and measure and so forth. Okay, this is kind of cool. There's something curious and wonderful about the English language. It tries to be a little bit of everything. We talked about base 10, base 12, and base 20, and here are the names in English of the first 20 numbers. Now, we do work in a base 10 system, so we think the first 10 numbers are important, so the first 10 numbers are good, but look, we also think the first 12 numbers are important, because every one of the first 12 numbers has its own special name. There's no rhyme or reason here, they're just special words, because we think each of the first 12 numbers deserves their own special name. So we work in base 10, but we think 12 is special, so we're acknowledging that and we acknowledge that. And then, once we get past 12, we've got this pattern for getting up to 20. We say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. We follow this pattern of using teen for the tenness, getting ourselves up to 20. Great! So we have a pattern that gets up to 20. But then it stops. Then we don't feel things are special anymore. We just use a new pattern, a brand new pattern, and stick with it. 21, 22, 23, 24, 31, 32, 41, 51, 61. We just follow a standard pattern thereafter. So English, in its names, we work in base 10. We have special names for the first 12 numbers. We feel, feel the first 12 numbers are special. We have a special pattern to get us up to 20. And then we just fall into a regular system after that. English is trying to be a little bit of everything. Do you speak another language? How do you say 87 in your language? Do you say it in a base 10 sort of way, like we do in English? 87 is literally 8, 10s, and 7. There's a base 10 way. Or do you say in a base 20 way? Quatre set, like we do in French. 4, 20s, and 7. Or Igbo, this dialect here, actually also says 4, 20s, and 7 as well. Or maybe you do base 10, but maybe you change the order around, like German. 7 und 8, 7 and 8, 10s. I'm curious, how do you say 87?